Hey Masters, welcome back to another video of Cypress and today we have an introduction to Jenkins. As you know, maybe, uh, or if you don't, Jenkins is an open source automation server and it helps automate the parts of software development related to building, testing and deploying, facilitating continuous integration and continuous delivery. In this video, it is gonna be a simple one. We're gonna be creating a freestyle project I'm gonna be downloading this um, repository from my GitHub, all right? Which is the Cypress demo framework. As you can see, um, well, inside of the package that JSON, we have a mock house and reporter. So at the end of the of the video, you're gonna be capable to build your own job and have and actually have HTML report with all the results in your computer, in your local computer. And I'm also gonna try to explain you very well a kind of introduction about the cron jobs so you can schedule a uh, well jobs for a specific hours in the day and so on you can have and take a look a basic uh, overview what it is about right so let's go ahead and start with jenkins in this case i'm gonna be clicking on here in the dashboard and on a new item right we have different options here in this case i'm gonna be clicking on freestyle project we also have pipeline as i told you before we have folder github organizations multi-branch pipeline etc but in this case to start taking a look of this beautiful cicd tool we're gonna be using a freestyle project so i have to place a name here so it is gonna be a jenkins demo cypress demo okay that's good so as soon as i have done that i'm gonna click on ok and now i have different types of configuration in this case i have the general we can place a description here about the the job right so everyone is aware of what is going to happen here uh, we also can um, specify other stuff for example if it is a github project or in this case i'm gonna be use a custom workspace okay what it means basically i'm gonna be using my computer as uh, my workspace itself right so in this case uh, i'm gonna be using the this folder over here which is the repos and i'm gonna be creating another folder here which is gonna have the same name as my repository so i'm gonna copy just the repo name and i'm gonna be creating a folder over here to map where i'm gonna be working right so there it is i'm gonna um copy this path in the directory uh, configuration here and now i have my custom workplace right i'm gonna delete this folder take a look of that there is no folder that I, uh, well actually created anymore and then i'm gonna be uh, configuring the source code management over here i'm gonna be using git and in this case i have to paste the git repository in at, well actually there right so i'm gonna copy my my framework or actually my repository path and i'm gonna paste it in the repository url over here in this case i don't need any credential so i'll be fine with this because it is a public one right and here i have to specify the branches to build in case you don't want to use the master or the main branch in my case right because if i go to the github repository you can see that i only have this branch over here but if you want you can specify the branch that you want to use with this jenkins job okay once uh, you have done that well the next step will be um, going to the build part and add a build step so in this case, I'm going to be using an execute windows batch command. And well, the first st step that I have to do is run the npm i or npm install, right? Because what it is going to be happening is that as soon as it clones the, the repository from the GitHub repository, right? It is going to be downloaded at that uh, the, the custom or actually the local di directory, which is, which is this one, right? And then, well, we have to open uh, or actually try to mimic the, the functionality of the CMD, right? For example, or a shell command. Um, and then you have to run the npm i command, well, to install the dependencies that you have in your package.json, right? In this case, I have to install, for example, uh, Cypress, Cypress grep, 
uh, Cypress Mocha Awesome Reporter and of course Cypress Expat, which is uh, the next video of this channel. So please stay tuned because you're going to learn how to use Expat in Cypress. So uh, as soon as you have done that, I have installed my dependencies, then I just have to run the script, right? So I'm going to be using a Windows batch command again. And in here, well, I'm going to be uh, creating my command. In my package.json, I have created some, some commands, but I want to construct it from scratch. So I'm gonna go and copy this uh, line over here. I'm gonna try to explain you what I'm gonna do. Well, at the beginning, we have to use MPX, right? Cause, well, it, it is the only way that we can run <laughs> Cypress in this case. Then I'm gonna specify that I'm gonna be using the run. So I'm not gonna be opening uh, the test runner. I'm gonna execute my test on a Chrome browser. So what? that's why I'm specifying the browser over here. Then I have the spec over here that I want to execute. In this case, it's gonna be Cypress integration pom and all the files that has the spec.js uh, ending file or kind of file at the, at, the, at the end of it, right? And then also I want to specify that I want to run it uh, in a headless mode, okay? I'm sorry, I, I have, uh, okay. Um, so I have to specify the headless mode over here. Let me just open this cause I think that I need it. Yeah, there it is, perfect. So as, as soon as I have, well, created my command, I just have to save this. And well, I have my project ready to be executed. So as you can see in my repos folder, I don't have any Cypress project download it and then i'm gonna be building this one and well let's see if it works or not well we have a new build over here which is the number one and if i go to the console output we have a kind of overview of what is happening in this case we're gonna have a kind uh, or of weird overview <laughs> and i'm gonna explain you why uh, as you can see, well, it has downloaded the dependencies over here. And if I take a look of my repo, as you can see, it has cloned the, the repository and I have the node modules over here, right? That's that's good. Well, and now I think that my, uh, well, the script is running. And as you can see, it is um, executing the different specs that I have in my in my repository. I know this this looks weird, <laughs> but it is kind of expected. I have Googled that uh, and well, I have found this solution. And basically I am having encoding issues on Windows. Um, well, as you can see in this screenshot, it is basically the same error or, or kind of view that I am having. And the, and the recommended uh, fix is to add this in the Jenkins.xml file. But I have done that and well, I, I have no results. So I'm gonna try to find uh, a way to fix that. And well, if I find something, I'll try to, uh, well, leave that fix solution in the in the comment section. But as you can see, well, at the beginning of the job, you can see that it has ended successfully, right? Finished success. And uh, if we take a look in the Cypress demo framework and I take a look inside of the Cypress and then report, I have a HTML report that has well, was created recently. And we have the results of the different test uh, specs that we have in our framework. That's good, right? I think that it is a very good start for you if you wanna, uh, well, start with Jenkins. But I have something else. If you, uh, if you go to the configure uh, part, right? I'm gonna delete the repository just for a few, uh, for another example. I'm gonna delete that, there it is. <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna do something over here. I'm gonna configure the build triggers and I'm gonna click on the build periodically over here. Here we can schedule uh, when we want to execute this build. We can do different stuff. We can uh, trigger when when a, another commit is, is done to the repository. But in this case, we can use a cron job. Basically, a cron job uh, is a time-based job scheduler in Unix-like computer operating system. So uh, let's imagine this scenario. I have a, um, I want to execute my cron job, okay? Let me see. Every day at six in the morning, right? 
basically we have this syntax over here. The first parameter will be the minute, then we have the hour, then the day of month, month and day of week. So in this case, let's imagine that I want to execute every day at particular time this job. So let me give you this example. Um, let me just copy this in my local computer. Uh, it is, um, well, 11, right? So in this case, I have to do, for example, 25. It is going to be the minute, right? Remember that in this case, the first parameter, it is the minute. Then we have to specify the hour. So I'm sorry, I have to specify here the, the local machine hour, which is 11. There it is. And now I have to click on save. I'm gonna just explain you the other parameters that I have specified. Well, the asterisk, the asterisk means basically uh, every single day or a uh, month or year, if I'm not wrong, right? As you can see, day of month, month and day of week. I'm sorry, and there it is. Now, probably if I wait for a, well, a few seconds more, the, the job is gonna be executed automatically. Let me prove that. Just wait for a few more seconds until it is 11.25 and let me see if it works and there it is it is working another build automatically and we have the console output of what is happening it can be run uh, well depending on your needs right depending on the on your project needs or or whatever you need or you want to configure right at the end of the day you're gonna have the same results or if something goes wrong or is wrong you're gonna have a custom html report right at the end with a uh, with mock awesome in this case so guys thank you very much for watching the video i think that it was a very or a pretty good introduction to jenkins um well probably in a future we can take a look of pipelines and the uh, other CICD uh, tools, right? So please subscribe, let a like, and let a comment, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.